Hey everybody, nice to meet you. My name is Joe and today this is a very different video than I normally post because this is a video about OBS and I had to do it because I can't find this video anywhere else and I'm sure there are other people who are having this issue. So I stream from my Mac. I use OBS because it's awesome. It's really good. It's super easy to use. I love it. But I've had one slight problem with OBS and my particular camera, which is the Logitech C920. Well, I've had two problems. One, it wasn't going into 1080p. It was always using 720, which I wanted to bump it up to 1080p because that's what my streams are and all my stuff. So I needed to figure that out. And then I needed to get the autofocus turned off. I wobble my head. I use my hands when I talk. I needed autofocus disabled because I'm always pretty much sitting at the exact same distance. I'm not too worried about it. I just need that setting off. So I scoured and solved the issue myself and I want to post a video about it just so that way if there's anybody else who happens to run into this issue, the first place I that I go for all OBS stuff is usually YouTube. So I'm assuming there's going to be somebody else out there who has the same exact issue that needs help in the Mac. So, all right, let's dive into the software real quick and take a look. Again, sorry, this is not my normal type of video on this channel, but I just want to show everybody this because there just may be this problem somewhere else. So as you can see here, I'm in, you know, the infinite void that is um, my OBS settings. And I have some other pieces of software up here on the screen. So first of all, let me show you the problem in my Mac. So that way you can actually understand it. When I click into this and you can click properties, or just double click this guy. I'm bringing up my camera settings. Now, to use 1080p with the Logitech C920, what you have to do is disable use preset. So for some reason, the preset version of this, when you have the camera set, only goes up to 720. You disable it, you're able to actually set it to 1080p. So 1920 by 1080. Did that, and then I just set all the rest of the stuff. I set the color space to 709 and full, full video range, 30 frames per second, yada, yada, yada. Everything's great, perfect. That's just, I think pretty much this is the default stuff. I didn't, I might've changed the color space, but that's about it. Um, so that's good, That that's working great. It's 1080 video and I'm happy. Um, now, the, the last problem is the autofocus. How the hell do I disable that? Okay, on the PC version of OBS, and I don't know why this is not here, with people who have the C920 camera, there is right here, right where my mouse is, there are three other buttons. One of them is configure video camera or something like that, configure video. You click that button, it pops up the Logitech, I guess, driver software or something, and you are just able to disable, change white balance, do whatever you want right through there, and it's good. Doesn't exist here. I thought maybe I didn't have a plugin. I checked inside of the uh, settings and other places just to see maybe there's this is somewhere else. I can't find it. So I don't know why. I have a sneaking suspicion this has something to do with permissions on your Mac where it's just, it was just, it's basically like, no, we're not going to allow, like you can't control these two things for some reason. I don't know that for a fact. I don't know if this is Logitech being stupid. I don't know if this is OBS being weird or if this is just the Mac being like, you can't do that. I, I have no idea. So whatever it is, it ain't here. So I did what I, you know, kind of hate to have to do, but you Sometimes you got to do it. That's going to the Logitech website and searching for drivers. So boom, when you go to Logitech, you can actually, if you just do a search for Logitech C920 driver Mac, it brings you to this webpage where you can go and download. And there's the art, the link right up there. It's just downloads dash or dash HD pro webcam. When you go here, you'll see this page where it allows you to, or this thing, this download button, you go to actually do the download and right there, notice a couple of things. First thing is it says download now and it's called Logitech Capture. This isn't the drivers per se. It's a piece of software that allows you to do a bunch of settings and stuff. Um, I tried to click on show all downloads and tried to find like, okay, well, what if I wanted just, you know, certain Mac OS thing? Like, what is this going to, you know, it's again, Logitech Capture. Logitech Capture. So this is all just Logitech Capture, this software. This isn't a driver for this. So I tried my best to not use this 
but this was the like, because I don't I don't want to have two pieces of software that do the same thing. I'm not switching to this shitty Logitech software to do this. I just I love their camera. The camera is great. I don't need your software. I have software. Just make a camera. Stop making software. Uh, all right. So <laughs> download this, install it. It's going to you follow the prompts. You don't have to set up an account. It says set up an account in there. Uh, it's like one of the first things you don't have to do it. Don't do it. Don't worry about it. Um, so once you actually get it installed, you then it'll pop up into like one of these types of pages. Uh, I think it starts here, but you'll actually see your camera. You may need to actually just detect your camera or find it, whatever. Uh, because I have the Logitech running right now, it's going, it just gives me this blank screen. It's like, Hey, we're trying to take over this whole thing for you. Uh, but I'm refusing to let it do that. So, um, once, once I get a minute to actually, um, like, you know, if I were to turn off my camera and turn off OBS, this thing would pop up. I don't want it to pop up. So I'm not worried about it right now. When you click this button into this source thing right here, you see the camera, you can make changes here. Don't change anything else. If you want to disable auto white balance and do that inside of OBS, that's fine. But the only thing you need to disable is the one thing I've disabled right here, which is autofocus. So this is normally on. I turn it off and now the camera's fixed. So again, it's stupid that you have to go in, that you have to install this piece of software in order to do this, but that's the way it works. And by the way, again, it, you need this software on your machine in order to do this. You cannot do it in OBS, which means I tried another trick where I said, okay, I'm just going to disable this and then I'm going to just uninstall it because I don't need it for anything else. Will that work? No. Auto white balance turns back on. So this thing is needed and you need to turn it off in order and keep it off. And then you never have to turn it back on again uh, in order to keep your auto white balance or any of these settings disabled or enabled so basically if you make any changes in here it kind of just it'll uh blow up if you disable or if you delete this software one other thing to note is that um yeah it's just really kind of crappy software so you know don't make too many changes in here though try to keep your changes in obs themselves itself again you can adjust white balance and you can adjust chroma settings and just your contrast and resolution inside of obs do it in there because they have their they have settings in here i can go into this and you know futz with my image settings if i really wanted to but um no i just i'm not going to do that I've, I've disabled that i've turned off their anti flicker stuff and most of the like everything else is just all off so that's it that's how you fix the issue uh good luck out there uh in obs streaming land people again if you like these videos uh, I, this is the only one I hopefully ever have to make of it for OBS. Cause I just don't do this every day, but other than that, see you around folks.